Exercise 5, insert text from file from the Word 2007 Core Preparation Guide brought to you by Shift Key Solutions. In this exercise, we'll be inserting a previously created Word file into this document that we just recently created. Our first step is to move our insertion point, which is blinking right here at the beginning of our document, to the end of our document. And that's accomplished by pressing Control End end e n d as opposed to control n the letter n it's actually control end e n d with our insertion point here at the end of our document we're going to insert a page break and this type of page break is going to be called a manual page break and that's accomplished by pressing control enter when i press control enter you see that we now have a new page added and that's verified here in the bottom left corner of our status bar two of two so if I scroll up I can see there it is my page break now the alternative to doing this is to come to our page layout tab in our page setup group we have our breaks button if I click this I have a list of options this is what we just added was a page break from here, we're going to go to our Insert tab, and then here in the Text group, we find the Objects button. We're going to click the drop-down arrow to the right of it. And then in the list, I'm going to click Text from File. I'm going to navigate to my Student Data Files, and then my Student Files Word 2007 folder. Inside here, I'm going to click on Library Activities and then click insert. Now if I look at my status bar I can see that I now have three pages that have been added and my insertion point is blinking here at the end of my document. What I want to do from here I want to press my backspace twice to remove those two blank lines and now see that I have two pages of information and here is where the information from the file was inserted. So next I want to press my I want to move my insertion point to the beginning of my document. I'm going to press control home. And there it is. I'm going to save my work. And that concludes exercise five. Thanks for joining me. Next, exercise six, we'll be talking about adjusting paragraph and line spacing.